we love the name of your podcast. <laughs> oh, you like two dykes two in a mic? Dykes in a mic. Yeah, yeah right? Like, it. It's perfect. Here's what I love wordplay and rhymes. Yes. And yes. lesbians. So yes. it's just like, it came together really perfectly. Yes. So it's you and Mackenzie. Mackenzie Goodwin, she's my co host. Yes. And she's incredible. And, uh, a lot of people assume that we're dating because we're both lesbians. I was just going to ask that. <laughs> okay. You know um, she wanted to know that. <laughs> I know. She know what, everyone wants to know because they want to know, like, are you single? When can I make passionate love with you? And I understand <laughs> that. I know. Um, <laughs> Mackenzie and I are dating. People think we are, though, because we're both mm -hmm. gay. And I oftentimes say Mackenzie and I are dating. So that's why it's confusing. Um, <laughs> we're not. <laughs> we're not at all. We are very good friends. She's, okay. like, incredible to work with. Very funny. Um, but she's not my type. I'm not into blondes. What is your type? <gasps> okay. So Ooh, she's not into blondes. <laughs> Oh my God. I'm not into blonde, so I'm more into like um, girls that kind of wear like Timberlands and like a hat to the side and two braids. Oh my God! This is what I'm talking about. Okay, okay. We were gonna leave this for the last question of the show, but since you brought it up, yeah. we're gonna ask you like right off the bat, uh -huh. which one of the three of us would you want to date? Oh my God! Here's the thing: um, we can it's all. Right between us. It's all, oh, well, so I know, Vivi, I know you so well, but you are blonde. I mean, it's fake. <laughs> then you're not good. Does it make it worse? <laughs> it it's make it so work. hard. Uh, yeah, if I had, uh, well, keep in mind, I know okay. very little. All I know is I can feast with my eyes here, and it's uh, challenging. But the hat makes you look kind of gay. Uh, right? Yeah. You know, I've kind of gotten this before. And I want to know, like, what is the actual term of dyke? Because I remember when I was younger, that was a term that was offensive. It was a no-no, right? Yeah. yeah so and people have told me that I am dykey yeah. at times. And I'm like, oh, I, I didn't know, but thank you. <laughs> yeah, well, we've like kind of reclaimed it as like a word of pride. I call yeah. my friends dykes. I like to be referred to as a dyke. Yeah. It's a strong word. Definitely people can be a little off-put by it. Mm -hmm. um, but I think it's like a positive thing. Like we're openly yeah. uh, just gay. I feel like uh, sexuality is very like fluid and all over the place, as which is very fun and good. Um, but I'm very like exactly like just a girl who likes girls pretty simple just a dyke yeah uh, yeah just a dyke and it rhymes with so many more words it's like short like and cute life. but there's different types of dykes in the world right so i would be kind of like your soft butch Ooh, okay. Because I've got like long, beautiful, yeah. curly hair, yes, but I yes. also roll it up, and I'm I'm just kind of more masculine. Butchy with some femininity going exactly. on too. Exactly. Like I have this beautiful like hourglass curtain. Yes, I see that. Yes. Yes. I mean, I'm like right in the middle of a soft butch. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, we're gonna have to cut this uh, show short today. I don't know what's going on. I'm feeling the okay. heat. Okay. Okay. Do you have a good gaydar? Dykar. Dykar. Oh, that's Dicar. cute. That's a good one. I have the worst gaydar of all time ever. <laughs> really? Really bad because of my experiences with like women who are dating me and then haven't come out of the closet yet. Okay. Or also like at this point, like it's not as apparent as it used to be. I feel like lesbians used to be more in this box of like you have short hair and you go to Home Depot and you wear Birkenstocks and that's yeah. what we are. <laughs> and now it's like everything has changed to be much more like Accepting of like fluid and like however you want to dress and identify as yourself. Like if you want to wear these shoes, <laughs> but you still want to be straight, you can. <laughs> you totally can. You totally right, can. Right? It's 2018. But 10 years ago, this would have meant. That would I mean, send a message. <laughs> In a scenario, say you and another lady are on a date. Mm -hmm. Is the the dikey one supposed? How how does it work to pay for the bill? <laughs> Who pays the bill? Who pays the bill? Oh. Who pays the bill? Also, I love that you all reached at me at one time. It was pretty exciting. <laughs> Who pays? Everyone. It's okay. It's pretty easy. So I say that this goes for gay and straight and who whatever. That's mm -hmm. what I like whoever to hear. Whoever asks the person and picks the place should, should pay. pay. Nice. So if yeah. I'm like, let's okay. say, and, so that has nothing to do with who is more like masculine mm -hmm. presenting, no. who's more femme presenting. That's all about like if I ask you, hey, you want to grab a burger? We pick the place. I know the price point. I know what the food's gonna be. Then I'm gonna offer to pay. Yeah, okay. Because that makes sense. I'm the nice. one who's planning. If I you plan, like that. you plan, you pay. Okay. You party. Yeah. You party. I wanted to ask you this. I love that. What is something like, like a lesbian struggle that's not really well known? Like, you know, something that you deal with that most people will be like, maybe really? we don't know. Yeah. Huh. Hmm. I'm trying to think. As just like a lesbian out in the world, it's. It, here's the thing. It's actually gotten like it's gotten a lot more easier. In these days, 2018, it's easier Congrats. to come out. It's easier for people to like wrap their heads around it. They can like, I came out to my grandma, and my grandma was like, "Well, I've seen Ellen, so like, cool." <laughs> like, it's 
just so much easier that like the struggle yes. I think is just more personal like I struggle with being like a woman in comedy I struggle with mm -hmm. like being like a chubby dyke from the Midwest like I have these own personal things that like it's hard to say for like all lesbians what it is I mean it's hard on dating apps because the dating apps for queer women are like so small yeah. and it's like I've already went through all of those I've burned <laughs> I've already <laughs> Also, I've never met a Tammy who's not gay. That's a weird, like, lesbian. Oh, oh. There is one, yeah. I know a Tammy You know a Tammy who's, 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 no, who's straight. straight. Oh, well, See? there you go. Exactly. All Tammies. <laughs> All Tammies are gay. Like, Interesting. Yeah. yeah. What about making the first move? Yes, I was oh. going to ask you that, too. You know? What, okay, what do you I do? I mean, you, just tell so, me. Yeah, so for me personally, <laughs> oh, no, I, I, uh, I always like to make the first move because I'm also a control freak. I like to like write, and come, same like professionally and relationship wise, I want to be in control as often as possible. I want to know what's going on. I'm going to pick the place. I'm going to be very direct, eye contact, hold the door open and like smooch immediately. Like I always want to know. <laughs> I would just like, I think it's yes. I, that's the best way to do it. I don't want to, I feel like with women, it can be lost and like women get very close naturally as like physically, emotionally can be closer together. So mm -hmm. when you want to specifically make it romantic, I try to like make it very clear. I'm like, I am here because I want to smooch ya. <laughs> Let's do that. You know what <laughs> I mean? Yes. So I think it's like, that's more personal. I think that's even with like straight couples too. Whoever is like wants to be in charge will naturally take the lead. Mm -hmm. And that yeah. just happens to be me. What are girls known for in relationships? That we're passive aggressive, that we that we talk a lot, that we send blocks and blocks of text. Yeah. So then I was imagining that double. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Because there's two women. Right. Yeah, I would say it's exactly the same. So there's blocks of texting, there's gossiping, there's talking, there's a lot of like touching and very exciting, plus nudes, and that's about that's it. That's fun! Yeah. Yeah. Hey, that's fun. It's like, yeah, you get to, but yeah, you You're like, selling this like a theme park. <laughs> oh, you yeah. know, I'm like, get me a ticket. I want to go on the ride. I'm not even here to promote myself. I'm here just to make sure that you guys fall in love with me, become lesbians. No, seriously, yeah. like, now let's actually talk about your comedy and your stand-ups. What do you like to talk about and where can we see you? Okay, yes. so I perform all around Los Angeles. I also, yeah, my uh, podcast, as you know, Two Dykes and a Mic is great. We do a monthly show, usually at the Virgil. So, like, it's follow our page you'll find our shows yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah I love stand up I've been doing it since I moved out here it's my favorite thing to do in the world I talk about like how I'm from Minnesota and I love Minnesota. ranch and how my tits are too big and how <laughs> like I talk about you know anything I talk about like my first experience getting my first ever pap smear like I talk about it all. Anything that to me, I'm like, I have an opinion about that. I know about that. I'm going to write jokes about it. Yeah. yeah. Are there things that you feel like you can't talk about? Or is that the place where it, it mm -hmm. all comes out? Yeah, no, I think that like comedy in 2018 has become, there's this whole PC culture. And mm -hmm. I think a lot of comedians have like also a lot of like male straight comedians have turned away and been like I don't like that that's in crouching on like my creative process but I think all it is is like being more aware of yeah. other people and yourself and your impact can only make you a better writer and more approachable to a wider audience and if you think that's a bad thing get more creative Absolutely. yeah I think mm -hmm. it's good to be inclusive and I think it's good to be aware and it can like make you funnier yeah yes. so like if you're telling a joke that only other white men can uh, relate to then like write a better joke. Dude, thank you so much for coming, Rachel. We're yeah. like <laughs>